Everybody, welcome back. My name is Simulation Beats, and today we're going through a walkthrough on the Vapor Dimensions plugin, going through what it's all about, and showing you guys some demonstrations on how I use the plugin. So if you don't already know, Vapor Dimension is a studio quality modulation plugin that adds rich vintage colors to any sound. So to really show off this plugin, we've got four different tracks to go through today, all of which utilize the Vapor Dimension plugin. We're gonna break down these tracks, show you guys some possibilities on how to use Vapor Dimension. And after we're done with those four demonstrations, we're going to move on to some of the features and presets of the plugin. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we've got our first demo right here all loaded up. So how this is going to work is I'll play the first half of the loop dry, and then halfway through, I'll turn on the Vapor Dimensions plugin. So here are the chords that I built out. then a chord layer as a vocal pad. All right, and last is a vocal patch. Oh my God, don't give up. Those are the three layers that I choose to put Vapor Dimension on. And then I added some bells, a lead, and a bass. So that's all the melodies that I have here using Vapor Dimension. But to show you guys just how versatile this plugin is, I also put it on my drum bus. And now that we're all done with the individual instruments, I want you to hear what the entire loop sounds like as a whole. Vapor Dimension is very diverse on what you can use it on. So for demo number two, I built out a cinematic track with a bit of a twist. Here's the top line keys. Right, now real quick, I do want to mention, yes, this is a very cinematic track, almost like you're walking around in like a dungeon of a video game or something like that, but I also couldn't help myself in making a little bit more of a drop here as well. Where the focus is this ARP right here. I also wanted to show you they could also work on basses as well. And then finally I added these right here. Now finally as a whole, here's what the loop sounds like. Honestly, I really enjoyed what Vapor Dimension did to the cinematic track there. But now we're moving on to the third demo here, which is going to be a hard trap beat. This one is very simple and ignorant, so we're not going to be spending too much time here. Going over the instruments that have Vapor Dimension, we have this choir. Then a synth. And once again, to really show up this plugin, I want to put it on an 808 as well.
And those are the only instruments that I use Vapor Dimension on here. This ARP that I have is already extremely busy, so I didn't want to add anything more to it. And here's what the entire loop sounds like. All right, I think there's enough of that one, so it's time to move on to our fourth and final demo here. For the last demonstration today, we've got a lo-fi beat for us to look over. And by far, this is my favorite track to use Vapor Dimensions with. All right, once again, very simple. Here are the chords. Next is the top line melody. And then to really sell that old time feeling, I gave it some vocals. Then I added this bass from Lo-Fi Keys, and here's what the loop sounds like. So those are all of the demos that I prepared here. Now it's time to go over some of the features here in Vapor Dimension. We're gonna stay here on the lo-fi hip-hop beat and we'll pull up the one on the chords. I know people say to use mono sounds for old school hip-hop makes them more vintage, but for me personally, so long as it's a warm, pleasing sound, I think it's got a place here. So I ended up using the wide pong preset over here on the chords. Just looking at the plugin right here is gonna be very easy to navigate. With your preset right here, you can choose from a different variety of some right there and then cycle through them with up and down like that. You can change the in volume, out volume, and then over here, you've got the different algorithms. These will all have dramatic changes on the effect. But that's not all that you can do. This number here will change the dimension. Zero, 50, and one. And then finally down over here is the modulation. And then you've got your dry and wet down over here. I prefer having a more dramatic effect and then decreasing the dry and wet to make it sound more like a layer underneath the original signal. But my favorite part here is actually going to be the random, pressing that would completely change everything up. This sounds really good. Once you get something that you like, you can go up to the top right, give it a name, and then hit save. But now let's go over some of the presets down over here as well. We'll cycle through them right here. Very impressed with all of those presets. All right, so this was your walkthrough and demonstration of the Vapor Dimensions plugin. Check the link down below and get your copy today. Once again, my name is Simulation Beats, and I want to thank you guys for watching here today, and we'll see you next time.